The showdown is not meant to cause offense or harm. The viewer acknowledges any reliance on the accuracy or completeness of said content should be done at their own discretion. The host apologizes in advance for any affront as a result of personal attacks. Rob Parker is always with us on the showdown once a week. Rob, great to have you back. Rob, you were a no on Votto for the Hall of Fame. Am I mistaken on that? I was a no, I am a no, and I will be a no. Well, well give, give it a chance. He's not on the ballot yet. You're, you're going to do more research, I'm sure. Did you see what he did with, with the dog on here? Let me, let, let me show you the best part here. Here is the dog with Joey Votto earlier today. A couple yeah. of months ago, you said that Zach Greinke and I are a hall of very good ball players. I think Zach and I would agree. You may be right. But I get the gist of what's going on here. I know what you're doing. You're looking down on us. A couple small market Midwest ball players, just because we're not big city, just like you. Mr. New York City, Sirius XM radio star. Mr. National Television, ESPN star, with your Fifth Avenue ties and your crisp pocket squares, your tailored suits and your polished shoes and your hair, your perfectly coiffed Broadway hair. Must be nice to sit atop that Madison Avenue ivory tower, looking down on us with those luscious locks. Not everyone can be the next Roger Peckinpah, Mad Dog. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're a disgrace. I like <laughs> like, by the way, Dog owns two suits and five ties. Like how he became <laughs> Mr. Big City, but he is. All right, so Rob, give me, give me your take on Votto. You must have seen he won seven on base titles. Well, how does that not impress you? Now, uh, that was an impressive uh, performance right there. I yeah. did love that on the dog. But uh, I, I could sit here and argue, if you want to say uh, he took the walks when they were presented to him and got on base, that's good. But I probably would tell you that he probably cost the Reds uh, some games by not taking the bat and swinging and driving in runs and hitting the Rob, home they said that about Ted Williams. Games. Do you remember, like, the, the old days, the old buzzards would be like, DiMaggio won ball games. All Williams did was walk. Williams is walking 140 times a year, hitting 340. Votto is hitting 319 and walking 100 times a year. By the way, he also slugged over 550 a bunch of years, including one of his MVP years. Yeah, but he's, he has a lifetime batting average of under 300. You could prop up the on base all you want playing first base and at that position you need RBIs you need power Joey he hit Bottles for power great he He's hit had for a very power good by the way his OPS plus is right near where Willie Stargell and Willie McCovey are who are lock hall of famers right, right? they're right in the same zone. The by the way the he's got the same OPS plus as Pujols he's higher than Cabrera and Big Poppy. Pujols and Cabrera have over 3,000 hits and have over 500 home runs he doesn't have any of those magic numbers. All the hits the go into that is, number, Rob. Rob, all the hits go into OPS+. Plus. Now, I want to be fair. A lot of those guys, including Pujols, have a lot more at-bats. I want to be fair, right? But the general hitting, which includes all the singles, all the walks, all the power, go into that number. And he's very, right there with, like, Jim Tomey. He's right there above Cabrera. And Jim Big Tomey Poppy. hits 600 home runs. I mean, and there's, enough, there's a difference. Joey Votto's had a very good career. And nobody, I'm not here to dog his career or say he was a bum. But if when I think about the greatest players who ever played and Hall of Famers, when I say Hank Aaron and, and Tom Seaver right, He's and not all Hank guys, Aaron. Joey Everybody, Bottles like, like yeah, he's not Hank not Aaron. Up. It's like you're, like, you're probably one of those guys like, yeah, LeBron's great. He's not Michael Jordan or Wilt Chamberlain. Okay, right? But he's just below that. Right, and that's why there should be. If there was a... Uh, a hall of very good where you could walk in the back door and Joey Votto <laughs> is welcome to come in. <laughs> there's, there's still room for great if you're below Hank Aaron. Okay, we'll do it another time. Angels are all in. I think you've av advised otherwise on previous programs, correct? This is a pipe dream by the Angels. This doesn't even surprise me. This is what they've done. This is why they've ne they haven't won since 2002. They, they just keep doing the same thing. Yeah, but does it make sense now? Hit? Rob, Rob, hold on. You're right about all that. I was the guy saying Pujols, the signs of decline. Hamilton, don't buy in, don't do that. Rendon, way too much money. But are they right here? They might be right here. No, there are too many teams that are better than them that are ahead of them, Brian. Yanks and Red Sox? Yanks and Red Sox? Like Blue Jays, yes, but Yanks and Red Sox are not world beaters. Rob, you know that. Oh. Yeah, but when Aaron Judge comes back, you got to admit that the Yankees are a way better team. So when he comes back, uh -huh. that's going to hurt. 
and and they're still behind these teams already and they've had a good run the last two weeks or 10 days right so that's just a pro- they that, just added two guys they, they just added giolito clear. and ronaldo lopez who's a decent reliever that's some quality they just added rob yeah, very nice. The reason that those guys were expendable is that they haven't played well enough. No, That's they're just at the end of their were, contract. Were, Giolito's been good. They're at the end of their, their contract, and the White Sox are out of it. It's in this contract year. They're going to lose him. It's a rental. I, I, I know it's a rental, but I'm just saying that I don't believe that that's going to be enough to get them where they are. The the Angels pitching staff as a whole is not good. And if you don't have pitching, this is the reason Mike Trout's been in one postseason in his entire career there. They didn't have they standard pitching. You say they don't have enough pitching. They added a the probably the best starter on the free on the uh, trade deadline market, Rob. Like Gilar is probably the best guy that's gonna be out there. Brian, do you believe they're making the playoffs, yes or no? No. Okay, then there you go. There's your answer. Uh, And you know what? The Angels be, will be left holding the bag when it comes to Otani, and it won't be money. It'll be dog do. That'll be in the bag. I'm <laughs> telling you, this is a bad move. I like that they're getting after it. I like organizationally now. I disagree with the previous years. You're right. Now I think that was the move. All right. Do you think the Yankees, with Judge coming back, he might come back this weekend? You think they can still make a run? Uh, absolutely. They're not that far out of the wild card. Two and a half games is not insurmountable and he makes everybody better if you just look at that team and and whenever he's in the lineup we saw it last year they won 99 games they they basically have the same lineup and they were able to win that many games and a lot of it had to do with judge it's amazing that they didn't fall under 500 and fall completely out of the race with him out yeah no i i agree with you there and he is a big difference maker i just think angels looking at the yankees They've had a lot of underperformance all throughout. There's still quality shuffled throughout. Red Sox just ahead of them. I think the Blue Jays are going to be the problem, but I like that they're getting after it. All right, Rob, good stuff. We'll do more. I had Hall of Fame stuff ready for you, but I think we, we're out of time. Good stuff, Rob. I can't, I can't wait for the next time. And stop letting people in. Can you close the Hall of Fame <laughs> door behind you, BK? Rob, I didn't see you last weekend. There's a lot of room. It's not, it's not jam-packed. Where there's, there's room. They're going to build you know, more plaques. There's plenty of space up there. You and your Fifth Avenue suits, go ahead. Take a walk. All right. See you next time.